What's your papa, your poppers? It's your girl Nay back in the cut with another video. And the reason I'm wearing this headband is because I have braids in, and my hair don't look the cutest because I just got out of the shower. So I just got ready to film this video. But today, as you see by the title, I'm gonna give you like two seconds to read the title. As you can see by the title, um, we are doing hi my favorite and least favorite hygiene products. And if you don't see back here, I have three buckets of hygiene products alone. And um, we're gonna see. But this is mostly towards girls. But boys, if you want to stay, you can to see what um, your daughter might like or to see what you might like for yourself because some of these things are can be used by men, also women. So let's get into it. So let's see what I'm going to start with first. Let's start off first with body wash. So the body wash I use today, which I'm using right now, is this Dove Go Fresh. Go Fresh Soul Free. Ugh. Go Fresh Sulfate Free. Come on, focus. Go Fresh Sulfate Free by Dove. Let's see, it's sulfate free by Dove, and I really love this one. It's the, there's two Go Freshes. There's a, like, um, there's a green one and there's a pink one. Um, this is the only one I saw at my local Dollar General. But it's Go Fresh Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena. I don't really know if I'm saying that right. Scent Body Wash. And I really like this. It helps with my eczema and it really moisturizes my skin. Well, I smell bomb. So, the next body wash slash shower gel. This is a body wash, right? Yeah, this is a body wash. Um, it is the coconut water body wash, and it is the Dollar General body. Um, contains coconut bam and bamboo. Uh, extracts and for skin that feels fresh clean and moisturized um I have really bad eczema and really sensitive skin so I don't really use this that often as you see it's halfway full you like I mean halfway empty and you're like how do you not use it that often if it's halfway empty it's because I mainly use it for like bubble baths or something I don't use it directly on my skin but it smells so good and this was in like the men's department like the men's part kind of but it just smells like so good it smells like the ocean and like men you can use this too well men obviously can use this but ladies you can use this too and because it smells really good but if you do have eczema or sensitive skin I would not really recommend this because it does break me out and I don't really want to recommend something that doesn't really work for me so the next body wash and I gotta find it because um, oh here it is the next body wash is forever red I have to I the reason it's all the way full is because I had to restock on this because um I freaking love it um this is a shower gel this is forever red by bath and body works and my mom got me hooked on this oh my god so i got this bottle around like last year like not last year but like like in the fall of this of 2019 and i loved it so much 
and so I would use it all the time and that was really the time when I didn't really care about like me breaking out or my skin being bad or whatever like I did not care at that point and the re like since I did not care I would use this non-stop um like every day I would just use this use this and I would break out and I wouldn't care and I would keep on using it and I was like okay well my skin will get used to it and stop breaking out right but that wasn't the case and so I was like I'm gonna just finish the bottle then so I finished it and then I wanted to restock so I just restocked but and then I used it again and I was like okay let me stop using it and like let me like actually get my skin back so I got this and I've only used it once because that was like well, let me stop like let me get my skin back so I'm going to give this to my mom because she doesn't have that of a sensitive skin as me but she does have a little bit of sensitive skin so I might give it to my mom if it doesn't work on my mom I might give it to my grandma because she can use stuff like this and it smells, oh my god, it smells so good. And I was smelling good, but my skin wasn't good. So, this does both. It smells good, and my skin feels good. So that's all on body washes. Um, let's start on lotions, which I have a lot of lotions and body creams and stuff like that. The first thing, um, I'm going to start with this. It is Spa Naturals Coconut Oil Moisturizing Cream with Vitamin E. And you can use this on your whole body, including your face. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree. And I love this so much, like, to put on my body and my face. And that was when I was using this. I didn't care. It smelled good. But it wasn't really helping. And you see, I've used the whole thing. I have not restocked. Can't really see, but see, I've used the whole thing. There's only like one like use on like your feet to use on this. Um, this is really good if you like just want a cream for your feet or just for your face or something like that. This really works. Um, I love it. But I do not use it anymore, and I will not restock on it because it didn't really work for me. Next is Alvino. I really like this. Um, Alvino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I use this in the morning. When at the at, on the night, I use another one. Um, that's why my face is like it seems oily, but my face is really dry. Okay, but it is Alvino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And it is fragrance-free that really helps with my sensitive skin and my eczema. And I have eczema on my face. That's why you see these white dots. But yeah, I really like this. And I got this at Walmart. This was like... This is like $2 for this thingy. 2 to $4 for this bottle but there was a big one for like nine something I don't really know but it is a little pricey but it works really good and I use this in the morning um, next okay we're gonna go with this one um this is a Victoria's Secret one it's love spell shimmer and I got this as a gift for my birthday and I used it one time and then I was like, that's when I realized, oh, it's shimmery. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> um, but it smells really good. It does not really work for my eczema. Um, of course it is, um. But you can, you can see here, I'll put it on the back of my hand, just a little bit on the back of my hand, so you can really see like the shimmer in it.
but as you can see it has glitter and shimmer that's really pretty but I do not want that on my on my whole body 24 7 so it will be really cute like I might wear this for my graduation or something like that my elementary school graduate don't <laughs> not my real graduation but um yeah it's really pretty and I really like the scent and I will definitely keep this um but yeah the next one is the one that I really love and I'm going to put this in my backpack or my purse it is the Forever Red. It's the thing of this one. And I will definitely use this for like my feet or like my hands if like I have sandals on or if my hands are dry, which happen a lot. Sorry, I have ugly toes. Um, which happen a lot. Um, do I have ugly toes, y'all? Probably. I don't know. But, um, uh, I really like this. It's very moisturizing, and I will definitely use this, too, in the future, and they're really cute. Um, next one is the one that my cousin got me hooked on. It really helped. It's on my face, and it's on my legs and stuff got my legs shining um it is yes it is for babies but it really works so it is johnson's aloe and vitamin e oil gel and since i have eczema it works so good and you just put some pants on or some long sleeve shirt or short sleeve shirt and some shorts in the summertime or something like that it still works and it's still really 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 good so i really love this one and then the next one is advanced healing ointment and i actually use this on my lips it's not what's on my lips right now but i use this on my lips when my lips are like very chapped and they need some healing i put this on my lips like after school or something when i come home and it's really good and that's the last of my lotions we're gonna go to deodorants now um we're gonna go deodorants are gonna go least favorite to favorites i have three. Oh no i have four where's my third one? Oh, it's right here okay i have four my least favorite is this one it is a suave one um and I also have another suave one because I got two because I really liked it and I wanted to try out the scent. I really like this scent, but I don't know. I don't like the scent. I bought it. I used it one time and I hated it. Like, you know how you're not trying to smell musty? This already puts the musty smell on you. It smells like um, when you turn the gas on. It smells like gas or something like that. Oh my god, it is horrible. I hate this one. I I give this like a 0 out of 10. I forgot to rate these products. The lotions, all the lotions I give a 10 out of 10. And all the body washes I get a, a 10 out of 10. But, this one I give a 0 out of 10 because it smells musty. This one, it smells, it smells so good. But, it does not help for me because for me, I sweat a lot just normally when I have like, because I have really bad anxiety. So, when I get really anxiety or I get stressed out or I get hot or I get nervous or... I'm just sitting in a room, just sitting right here. My body heat like is very warm, so I'll just automatically sweat. And I love these. 
I love this one. I don't, I hate that one. Um, I love this one, but it doesn't really help me. So I give it like a three, only for its really good scent. The next one is this one, which I don't use anymore. Um, it's a degree motion spray and it really helps for like, I don't know, I thought since it was like motion spray and I like move around a lot and when I get like hot, like I thought it would help, but it really doesn't. Um, I still sweat like crazy, but I apply this in the morning. I still use it, but yeah. The one that I have on right now, but you have to apply it at night because it's more of a cream deodorant. It's the um, Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid Stress Response because I have a lot of stress. So it's a cream, basically. As you can see, it's a cream. Literally, it's not a powder. It's a legit cream. And I like this one. It has a good smell. It helps a lot. These two together are a bomb. It stops my sweat. It minimalizes it. I give this one a 5 out of 10. And I give this one a 9 out of 10. It doesn't stop it completely but it minimalizes it. I don't know if I'm using that word right. Okay, deodorants, lotions, lots of lotions. Okay, now we're going to go on to shampoos and conditioners. So I told y'all this was gonna be a long video, sorry, 17 minutes. Okay, so my shampoo that I'm using right now and that I absolutely love the combo is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. It's this one. It has no sulfates. It still gets my hair... Mm, I can't say it gets my hair squeaky, squeaky clean like I love it too. But... When my when I don't use a lot of gel for that week and my hair is technically that not that dirty, I will use this and this. But next, when my hair is absolutely dirty, I've used so much gel like I have this week. Well, it's only Wednesday and I wash my hair yesterday and I washed it with this because I had so much gel in my hair I had flake well not really flakes but you know when your gel like dries up but you put like more coats of gel and like we try to brush it, it doesn't and like when you try to like stretch it out it has all these like fake basically flakes just coming down I think that's called flakes I think but it's because the gel I'm using is not that good but this gets the job done this V05 the passion fruit smoothie is not really new now but I got this like a long time ago and I only use it um, every twice a week twice a week no <laughs> every two weeks I use it and so I pair that with these two I need to restock on this one. Oh, something spit can I think of this nope it wasn't this okay okay let's go this one okay Okay, this spills a little bit, but I'm still going to show it. Um, I need to restock on this because it's my favorite. It is the Mane and Tail Deep Moisturizing Conditioner. And I put this on my roots when I wash my hair, like yesterday. 
and I put this on my ends because it is so moisturizing and I just love it. And the one I hate is this neutralizing shampoo and conditioner and this build a lot. Um, it does remove product and build up really good and it leaves hair squeaky clean. It has a lot of sulfates in it. It does not um, use your hair like that rubbery feeling. That's the only reason I don't like it. But when my hair is like, ooh, so, 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 so bad when I leave like braids in for like a really, really long time, that's my go to. Now let's do perfumes, which I have a lot of, and I can't deny it because I love perfumes. What? Period. Okay, um, start off with my least to my favorite. Oh, I forgot the butter wash. Um, it's the Dark Kiss. I used it when I used this, but before, when I really, really didn't care about my skin, this, um broken out so many times from this it does not smell good at all i don't know what i was doing back in third grade when i felt like i needed this so bad but i still have it so, so let me stop okay okay let's go uh, least favorites to favorites let me get to all of them As you can see, I barely used it. It is the dark kiss to that one. But I just recently got this. Not just recently, like a year ago. And it smells horrible. I will never, ever wear this on me again. Only a bedtime. Like, oh my. I'm about to sneeze. It's so strong. But I will only wear this at bedtime. I might give this to one of my family members. Oh my god, if they would like it, I don't care. Um, but this is the one that I kind of like, but I kind of don't like. I'm watering it right now, and I just don't really like the scent. It sprays on good. It's a really light spray. Um, it's not that strong. Well, it kind of is. Not really. It's like middle. But it's the Bali Coconut Sands Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I do not like it. That's why I have it right now. So I wear the ones I do not like. Um, I wear the ones I do not like at bedtime. So that I don't really have to do anything about it. Okay. Next is um the one that i left in there it is called mary cherry cheer it is a purple one by bath and body works and it is a part of the holiday thingy and this is a part of the holiday thingy but i i really like this but it's it's also oh 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 i really like this like to go like out somewhere um with your friends or something like that like at night time like if we're gonna go party or go to like a birthday party or go out like somewhere really fancy i will wear that my next favorite is this wild strawberry oh my god it's so fruity so light um it's not that strong and it doesn't stay on for that long so that's my con but other than that I like it and then oh I left my other one in there too it's the um, Japanese cherry blossom that's my next one um, I really like that one and then my favorite one is the exact same one of this and the exact same one of this the forever red perfume i wear this every single day 
but nobody notices me and nobody gives me compliments because they can't really like smell me from like 50 miles away i'm just saying um but i really love this energy for this um let's get on because i know this is very long and y'all hate me for this let's start with um hand sanitizers so i don't have that many so we have uh, fresh by clean snow i give this a Four out of ten. Wait, no, no, no. That smells good. Five. Um, unicorns are my spirit animal. Four out of ten. Um, bride squad. Three out of ten. Actually, two out of ten because I don't really like these sparkles. I got it as a gift. Um, magical mango. One out of ten. Thanks for everything. Six out of ten. Champagne toast. Six out of ten. Uh, watermelon lemonade. Seven. and this one I got at Walmart all those that just saw all of these I got from Bath and Butterworks but this one I got from Walmart I just got it because I was we were on like a road trip going to um, see family and I didn't have any hand sanitizer and we were about to go to a restaurant and I was like let me just go to Walmart Oh, no, baby girl. No. This is a one. Oh, my God. It is the black cherry and grape. I don't know. I do not know. I think I only got this because of this. This cute thingy on it. But I still used it. Okay, that's all hand sanitizers. Oh, let's put this all back. I need to put a spray one in my backpack because I love that. Um... Now, let's go with face. The only face product I have is this. It's my girl, my girl, my girl, Chloe, yes, man. Chloe, yes, Chloe, yes, men, Chloe, yes, men, or if that's how you say your name. Um, she got me hooked on these Freeman face masks. It's a clay mask slash scrub. It's cleansing apple cider vinegar. Um, this is not the exact one she's got, but um, she had one like this, but I could not find it. And so I just got this one because it was from the same brand, Freeman. And I got this at Five Below. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is face stew. Oh, another hand sanitizer is winter candy apple. I give that a 8 out of 10. Um, next is another face. I, it's Stridex. It helps for, um, my pimples and my breakouts that are really good this is a sensitive skin with aloe the next thing is for the downstairs area is these always feminine always feminine the brand always um feminine wipes and it comes with 20 wipes it's for when it's shark week or that time of the month and you're at school but you just want to like clean yourself but you're like so i have these in my backpack i need to put them in my purse um and I, next i will be doing a what's in my purse video if if you want to see that and if you want to see a um 
a hair, like a hair haul video, I will be glad to show you that. Um, the last and final thing, I think. Oh, no. For that, we have um, this mouthwash that Chloe Yasmin also got me on. But she had the uh, Target brand. I have the Dollar General brand. This antiseptic mouth wash in blue mint. But yeah, now for the final thing that was back here. If you didn't see it, it was right here. I love this. I just tried it today. But I have pro pros and cons about this cleansing brush um the pro is that it cleans very good it gets you nice and clean it um suds up really nicely um and all that but cons it takes you can't just press it like that you have to hold it that's a con. Um, another con is you have to be, guys and girls, if you use this, you have to be um, careful around the nipple area because I did not. And they started hurting a little bit. Um, it's awkward to talk about. But, um, yeah, it's a little. But, yeah, um. And another pro is it does come with other um, head attachments. Um, it comes with a pumice stone for your foot so you can get all that dead skin off. A massage. A um, 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 like this thing where you put it on and it like massages. It puts like it gets your lotion really deep into your skin. Um, that's about all. If you were wondering what lip gloss I have on in this video, and no, it is, it is a lip gloss. It is, um, not a, um, not one a, of, um, what am I trying to say? Well, not one of uh, the Carmet. I didn't show Carmex, but it's not Carmex or it's not um, the little thing that I told y'all that I put on my lips. I have now all my three baskets of stuff don't want to fit. But um, if you're wondering, I will be doing a lip gloss collection thinky because I'm about to stock up on all my lip glosses. This is the only one I have left. Wait, no, I have two others left, but they're at school because I don't really like those ones, but um, it is the Stary Honey Gloss in the peach flavor. I don't really know. It's weird to say flavors because you're not supposed to eat them and they don't taste like anything but they do it's a little thick it's not sticky but it is a little stick thick but it gets your lips very glossy and it stays on for about as you see it's 30 it stays on for about an hour and then you have to reapply it so yeah but bye guys i hope you like this video hopefully it will upload if it doesn't i'm so sorry but bye guys love you stay shit popping